spotted lantern flies are hard to miss, and lately they have been everywhere. Yeah, and their invasion isn't just destroying crops and plants across western PA. They've become a nuisance all over the country, and their numbers are growing by the day. These pests are wreaking havoc, and we are finding out how to put a stop to their madness today. We have the best person for the job. Garden guru Doug Oster is here with a DIY trap to end all traps, and he's going to show us how we can make one right now that you can make it home to. Yeah. We're going to put a dent in the population, but I don't know if we're going to stop it. This we're going to stop yes, the madness. Stop. But first of all, Doug, where did they come from? Yeah, they just them, uh, uh, you know, they came over in some kind of crate from overseas, and now they're moving across the country, basically on rail lines, and so that's why we're seeing them in different pockets in the city. Some places it's really bad. Some places, but why is it so bad? What do they do to plants and to why is it such a problem? Because there's like 70 different types of plants that they can get on and suck all the sap out of them. And then they make this honeydew, which is of, yeah, really honeydew. disgusting, yeah. sweet stuff mm -hmm. that attracts other insects. The thing is, there's no predator. So they can and whenever we have this infestation like this and we have a predator. Now, somebody texted me this morning with a picture of a praying mantis with a spotted lanternfly All right. wow, decapitated. Yeah. <laughs> that works. And so the, the only thing we have right now is, is a trap. We're making our own trap. Okay, and so this is what this, these materials right, are, right? And this is what it looks like when it's done, okay? And it, it, this might look like some kind of crazy thing. All it is is some screening and we're just funneling the pest up into here right. and and into this bag. That's it, all we're going to do. And because the pest is not a brilliant pest, mm -hmm. it just crawls up the tree. And so it's going to crawl up this screen and to its get, doom. get stuck in here. Yeah. You know, this is a good option too because I've seen some people trying out like pine saw water mixtures. And if you have pets, if you have kids, if you have animals in the neighborhood. Another way people try to trap them was putting just a sticky band around a tree, but they you were catching songbirds, bats, yeah. oh, pollinators. Yeah. Right. So this is only going to affect this this pest. So we're seeing some video. This is how you would actually adhere it, attach right, it. Right, right. Put it put home. it at the back of a tree. The, the main tree that it's after is called Tree of Heaven, which is an invasive, mm -hmm. but it, because it goes after grapevines and all these other things, it, it's an issue. And if I can make this trap, anybody can make this trap. And these are materials that you may have at home? I went to my local hardware store, Hastings Hardware, and they always giggle when I come in there because I am so unhandy. I actually had to use YouTube to figure out how to put staples in here. Oh. <laughs> all right, so you said the hardest part is actually using these milk Yeah, so these, you got, you got two tops of milk cartons, you mm -hmm. glue them together, you have to have the hot glue gun. Okay. Don't really? try and you do it with any... You Elmer's glue. No, no, no. Like, okay. that's what I was getting. Bad I got to buy a hot glue gun? He goes, yeah. And the hardest part is adhering the screen to the bottom of this. So you got to tack a little bit on there, then you move around. Once it's on there, now I've stapled it okay, on. Okay, I see the staple. And there. there's two pieces of wood here. That's the short one, and please hand me the long one on the other side. And so the long one is going to go back on the tree. And so okay. we go mm -hmm. to the longest part. Of the net. Right? And we're just going to attach it to the net. Are you going to do this, Heather, or am I going to Sure. Do what are we All doing? Right. I said yes before I knew what we yeah. were doing. Yes, I am. Does okay. she need the hot glue gun? That's No. no. We, we're not gluing that in. They, okay. You know, at, at the hardware store, they warned me, this gets hot. I said, yeah, I know. Push it yeah. hard So we're doing down, right here? Right, right. Push it, Heather. Put some muscle into it. There oh, there we go. And now. I did it. This too. Okay, down here. A couple times. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's fun. All right. That's how you get out some aggression. Yeah. <laughs> okay, watch your fingers. Okay. I'm not after you, Doug. It's the spotted lantern. Now, play. how do you attach this to the tree? Well, you know how they do it is they just use a string and tie it on there. But I just, in this one, I just drilled a hole in the in the bottom and screwed it onto the tree. Oh. And it made it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I think that when people start building these, uh, that we're going to find lots of interesting ways to do this. Now we put another piece in. This just keeps it open. And so, hand me this is just a, a coat hanger that's been mm -hmm. cut up. And it's going to form a circle underneath here. And that's all we would do. We would still do the same thing. We would put this up here, staple it on, put this around it just to keep it open. This part here just Goes on to the to the bottom of the the, the, the side string. of the tree, yeah. yeah. And then the thing will just crawl up there, 
Well, I, would, I don't know. How many can, can you figure to catch with this thing? Like how many hundreds, per day? Or hundreds, hundreds. hundreds. Oh, and so then boy. this is where, here, use this one. I know we're out of time, but what would you do? You cut a hole in the side here. Right, and then just use a zip tie around it, and that's all there is to it. So mm. now the bag is sealed. You've sealed down here. There's no way out. They right. fall in, right. and you're good. And then when they're in here, you just open that up down into like a thing of soapy water, and they're, they're oh, done. I don't want that job. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, disgusting. That's like <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much, Doug. We appreciate it. And you can see Doug every Saturday at 9 a.m. on CBS Pittsburgh streaming for In Doug's Garden by Davy Tree. More, for more tips from the Garden Guru, you can go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We've got the links to Doug's blog right there. It's a fun contraption. Yeah.